Right, hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. As you can tell from the title, and as you can tell from obviously the sign behind me, I'm at IKEA this morning. You're probably wondering why I'm at IKEA, but I'm doing like a mini haul for my van and my detailing unit. So if you've been keeping up to date with the progress and been following me on social media, you would have known that. To begin with, I started to do um, van build on my van last year and started to do loads of bits, but this year we decided to rip it all out and do something a bit different, which there'll be a video on very shortly, hopefully. Um, so I'm gonna be redoing all the camper van section and obviously with my van, it's a mobile valet and van as well. Um, and I need to look at redoing it all and finding some bits to use in the van. Cheap, cheerful um, and easy to use when out mobile valeting and also you would have known you know that i'm doing the man cave build and doing up the unit as well and there's a couple of bits that i think i need which i thought i'd go to our local ikea so down here in exeter we're lucky enough to have an ikea which is great just nice cheap cheerful stuff and some of the stuff is actually really good i'm down here early this morning and the car park is absolutely dead like it is so quiet i've come down for eight o'clock which is when they open i thought i'd come down early because i've got loads of things to do i didn't want to come at like 10 11 o'clock and like bump into all the single mums um with all their screaming kids and stuff like that as much as it'd be nice to check out all the single mums i haven't got the time for that today and i'm probably gonna get in trouble for saying that because my missus is probably gonna be watching this but i thought i'd come down early eight o'clock just literally come down, whiz around the shop, grab a few bits that I need, and I basically show you everything that I'm getting, which I think will come in handy for some of you mobile validators and unit-based detailers, looking at getting some storage, um, and then just some just some finds that you can use in your van and in your unit that, that will actually come in really helpful um, for storage and all that sort of stuff. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna head into Ikea now. I might film a little um, a bit around the shop, just picking up stuff and just seeing what there is. Um, I don't know how confident I am doing that, but like I said, I'll show you the car park quick. Like this is it this morning. I'm beginning to think it's not even open. There's a guy there. Let's see if we can zoom into him. Nah, it's taken ages. So it looks pretty dead. So I'm hoping it's open. But what I'll do, I'll fly in there. I'll take the camera with me somehow. I'm gonna take the hat off because I've got like a man bag for my camera gear and that and I don't want to look like I'm robbing the place. I'll end up looking like I'm going to be robbing all the self-built furniture and stuff. So I don't want to go in like that. I'll take the hat off because I'll be putting my mama giving the cameras on. So if I do build up a bit of confidence now, I'll, I'll stick the camera and show you roughly what there is. Um, and then what I'll do when I'm back at the unit later, I'll show you exactly what I've got and what I think will come in handy for your mobile valet and vans and your detailing unit. So, so what I'm going to do now, head on in, see what I can find, and then you'll be joining me back at the unit. Right, so already on to the first problem of the day. This bloody walking system. I've got to walk all the way around. I was going to be a bit of a yobbo and just jump the fence, but I don't want to create a first bad impression. So at the minute, I've got to walk all the way around this just to get to the first entrance. So I'll get in there, see how we get on, and then we'll just go from there. Right, so how typical is this? I've said, oh, I don't think the place is open. Guess what? It's not open till 10. I had a look online and it said 8 o'clock, but it's COVID hours, putting bloody times back so now i've got to walk all the way back around this walking system and find something to do for a couple of hours i'm absolutely gutted by that so so much for me um having a nice easy start to the day and getting stuff done so now i'm gonna head back down to marsh bar and grab a couple of bits and go from there so you'll be joining me later back at ikea i'll try and show you around as best as i can hopefully we'll hopefully despite it not being open now we'll still make a good start later doing this ikea haul but yeah first haul not going so well today but i blame covid hours for that so gutted currently in ikea bored already just chilling on a mattress i've picked up a couple of bits i'll try and show you what i'm getting along the way just so you can see um what i'm getting for the unit there's actually some really good bits in here um, that i think will work out really well for the unit and your mobile valet and brand um obviously i'll grab a few bits and i'll talk to you all properly when i'm back at the unit and i can show you all properly I came to ikea to get detailing bit and i'm ended up with a bread bin and some coat hangers how does that work I can't go to ikea without giving the trolleys a little spin i'm back at the unit and i'm ready to carry on with the ikea haul um, everything that I think that you might need for your detailing van or your detailing unit or garage. Before we go anywhere though, obviously please do make sure that you check out the channel, watch all of these videos, subscribe to it, like them all, comment and let me know what you think um, because all the support is much appreciated. 
But let's get back on with the video. Right, so hopefully you can see me and hear me all right. I do need to get a microphone um, so you can hear me a bit better, but I'll have to do the shouting for now. So I've been to Ikea, I've grabbed everything that I think that you might need. Um, there was a few other bits after where I've either bought and I thought actually it's not gonna work or after I thought I could have bought them because they could have worked. So I'm basically gonna talk to you about everything I've bought. I haven't bought much, I've probably spent about 180 quid. And the problem is I've had, I can't find the receipt of everything that I've bought. So along the way, I'm gonna have to tell you rough price of what it was or just put the links down below so you can check out and see how much they are. But bear in mind, all this stuff's fairly cheap. It's Ikea, it's cheap, it's cheerful, but some of the stuff is actually really good. So I'll talk to you a little bit about um, what I've got. Like I said, everything will be linked down below and I'll try and do some shots of each product or each thing in action because there's a couple of things where I'm gonna have to show you exactly um, why I think that you should be using these for your detailing unit. So, so we'll start off with something small. In one of the baskets in Ikea, I found this squeegee and you're probably thinking, is this how it's going, is it? And to be fair, it is. Obviously they're for your windows, so they're really good for the winter months. You know when it always mists up on a cold, cold winter morning and you need to clean the glass and you can't be asked to turn the engine on to leave it all running and, and warm up the windscreen. You can literally just go bang, 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 bang and all the um, condensation will be gone. Um, so it's really easy to clean glass with and also if you've got a steam cleaner, you can actually, to get perfect smear free glass, you can actually steam the glass, use the squeegee to um, to squeegee off all of the sort of excess moisture and then that should get the, cla the glass crystal um, crystal clear. So you know like you get them Karcher um, window squeegees, it's like steam and it's got one of these on it, it's pretty much the same thing. If you've got a steamer, steam up the glass, use one of these and that's perfect. And I want to say that was probably less than, maybe a couple of quid, maybe less than a quid, something like that. So they're really good to have in the winter um, to, def to get rid of all the condensation off the windscreen so you can clean the glass easier and also really good to clean the um, windscreen with your steamer. So that's that, little squeegee. This is called the, oh, it's a great start. It's not called anything, but it's an Ikea squeegee. I'll put the link down below. I'll put the link on, on the screen just so you can see how much they are. So that's that. You can keep them in your mobile ballot and vans or have them at your unit. Another thing that I've seen that would be really cool actually as well is a step. Now these are, this was for your bathroom. It was in the bathroom section of Ikea. This is called, yeah, not too sure what it's called, but obviously you know what it is. It's a step up platform. Well, we, we use a screw fix platform that we use all the chemicals on and use it to step above the cars. Um, and we always say in that when it's been used for the for the holding the products, we don't have anything to step up to polish the top of cars and stuff like that. So I think this just keeping in the unit or in the van um, will just be easy just to use to step up or to reach up the top of cars um, and help polish them. It makes it a bit easier. It saves you like leaning right over the car and then scratching it all with like your zips or anything like that. Um, so obviously you know what that is. It's a little step up. Um, just makes it a little bit easier getting to high, higher cars polishing high cars um, and stuff like that. So you can keep that in your unit, you can keep that in your van, and I thought it would be really good. I'll probably just keep it in both. I'll keep it in the in the van, and when I need it at the unit, we can. Because um, I'm only small, I'm not that tall, so it makes it a little bit easier to get over cars. Some Bentleys are really long, um, and I find that they're obviously not even that high, but just reaching to the middle of them could be a nightmare. So something like this, it's not too big to keep in the van. Um, it doesn't pack away or anything like that, but that would be really good to keep in the van um, to use when you're outside mobile valeting. So that's that one, I'll put the um, felt on the screen, link down below as well, so you can see how much that is and where to get it from. I'm powering through it. Another little like storage idea to keep in your van is obviously just some storage boxes. Now these would be really cool, I'll put a, photo, a little video up on the screen of how you can use them. So these are like less than a couple of quid, um, they're called the Samla boxes. Um, so what you could do with these is store all your cloths, any loose products, any applicators, um, money, who knows if you're getting paid in cash. I want someone to keep it? No, I'm only joking. Um, but these are really good to keep your products, keep your cloths and all that sort of stuff. They come in a range of different sizes. I'll put photos up on the screen of, of what the different sizes come in. So you can use them for your cloths to help separate all your cloths. You can put your glass cloths in, in some because they come in different sizes. Um, you can put your little products, like your metal polishes and stuff like that, which normally come in like a 250 ml bottle. You can store them in there. Um, really good for applicator pads. So I don't know if I've got... No, I don't have any applicator pads. But Sometimes app app applicator pads just end up going missing. So this will be really good to, just to store your applicator pads and they'll go nicely in your shelf as well. So for less than a couple of quid, I highly recommend some of these boxes. We use them for the cloths. We tend to have the bigger boxes to um, separate all the cloths with and they're really good and obviously they come with a lid as well, which is absolutely ideal. Right, so on to the next thing. Now this is something that I actually thought would work, but it turns out it's not going to. So. I've seen these in Ikea that hang up on your kitchen where you keep like, I don't know, your basil and stuff like that. And I thought that 
this comes with a hook on the back of it because um, it was hooked onto a board but it turns out there's actually a lid um, that it sort of that it goes onto and then clips onto so what I was thinking with this if this had two clips at the back you could use it to clip onto your buckets um, and then store your brushes in so you know like it, you're trying to find the small brushes for the wheel faces and stuff like that which is an absolute nightmare I thought with this if it had two clips on the back you could clip it onto the bucket um, and then just store brushes in so you could just take the, bru um, take the brushes out to dip in the bucket rather than dropping in the bucket and then you never find them again and then in winter that can be annoying when you're digging out the bottom of the bucket to try and find your brushes so if there's a way I can adapt and modify this I'll keep you updated on that um, but other than that I'm not too sure what I can really use it for it's IKEA Scatters all their funny names I've got funnier names than what uh, my, my brothers and sisters have so We'd make a good IKEA family actually with all these funny names, but yeah, I'm not too sure what I'm really going to be using this for now. Um, maybe I have to use it in the kitchen for something, but other than that, I don't really know what the use is. So that was going to be a, a brush holder, but turns out that's going to have to be taken back or used somewhere in my gaff. So we'll put that one down there for now. Um, with the power on on through, the power on on through. Right, let's get to something a little bit more exciting. Just so you can see. So in this box here, I've got the IKEA Raskoj. Like I say, all funny names. Um, a bit like all my brothers and sisters and myself. That, this obviously I haven't got out of the box. I'll show you it quick now just so you can see. I'll put a photo up on the screen for a little video. If I can get this set up, if I can get that set up, I'll do a little video on the screen just so you can see what my use is for. But I'll talk to you about that. So that was about... 30 to 40 pounds, I think it's actually 39 pounds, so close to 40 obviously. But basically what that is, is a trolley um, that is mainly used in the kitchen. Like I say, most of this stuff in my gear is used in the kitchen and bathroom or something like that, but it has really good uses um, in your detailing unit or detailing um, van. This you use at your detailing unit, but you could keep it in your van if you wanted to. So basically it's a trolley um, that I was thinking of using. You know when you're machine polishing and you've got your, got your product bottles and that everywhere and you've got nowhere to put it, you can put all your ceramic coins, um, polish bottles and all that sort of stuff in the trolley and then you can move it around with you when you're doing details. So I thought that was actually really good. If you're doing machine polish, keep your machine polisher, your tape, your polish, um, ceramic coating or anything like that in this trolley and then that would be really good to use um, when you're around the unit um, mobile. So if I can I'll put a little video up of my idea of what you could do with that. And like I say, 40 quid you can't really go wrong um, and as long as you look after it that will be with you in the unit for the foreseeable future that last ages so that was something I, I wanted for a while actually I've always looked at it and thought oh, that would actually be really cool in the unit I see some beauticians use them um, to store their beauty stuff whatever that is lashes and all that sort of um, all that sort of madness but I thought it would be really good to use in these detailing units so I know a few of you will probably look at that and probably actually buy that because that is actually something you can you can use really well in your detailing unit and that's probably my my best purchase from Ikea the other day. I'm really happy with that. So I'm looking forward to getting that set up and, and getting that in use around the unit when it finally comes down to doing it. So I'll put that one to the side. Whilst we're onto these boxes, I've also got the Calax unit, the little two, the two poster unit. So obviously around the unit, you've been seen in the photos, I've got all of these sort of like um, black um, stands where I keep all the products, um, which are actually really good. And not only can you keep your own products, if, obviously I've only got these because I've got the shop. So I needed someone to store all the products and I've ordered a couple of more just to be able to put more products around around the unit. So for those that have been keeping up to date with the unit, I want to build the shop out a little bit more and have a bit more products around the main unit rather than just in the back where the man cave is. Um, but all of them all of them product stands are all the Calyx range um, in IKEA. They range between that two, that one there is only, only two boxes so that was about 20 quid. Um, but they range between 20 quid up to about 100 quid depending on what size and how much you want but they're really good to keep all your products um, like I say you don't have to be selling products to have one you can literally just use them for your own products if you've got a back of the unit or um, or anything like that you can just use them for that um, which we'll do as well obviously we're using them for the shop but if we have got any spare space where we can use them for our own products we'll put that up for that as well and for like 20 quid where can you go you can't go wrong with that so that's a really good idea to have it in your detailing unit so that and the storage um, ideas, because you can spend two grand on a full Sealy or Snap-on um, sort of cupboard storage, but I mean for the sake of like 100, well anything from 20 to 100 pound for a few of them boxes, which you can get covers to put on the front of them um, if you don't want to see the products in behind. So 
I highly recommend the Calyx range. I'll put all them photos up. I wasn't going to buy the whole the whole range because obviously I've got the whole range here in the unit, which I'll put up some photos with, just so you can see that. Obviously, we use them for the shop and all of our products, so you can use them for your own your own products and your own equipment. Because like I say, they do come with doors and that as well um, as an optional extra. So that's that. So I'll get these put back up. So let me know. Am I boring you yet? Is this a boring video? Have I really stooped this low to to find some random bits at IKEA? Um, or let me know if you're enjoying it. If you're enjoying it, obviously comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are. I don't know why I'm including this in the video, but IKEA do um, extension leads, so I don't know why I bought that. Obviously, I bought it to create a bit more socket space in the unit for the man cave, but it's not really something that you're going to be overly impressed about. But if you didn't know, IKEA do sockets, and these two were like less than a fiver, so I had a good deal that was. I picked up some random stuff and I picked up some general stuff for the unit, so apologies for that. That there is actually a coat hanger. Um, which was cheap. I think it's about five quid for a coat hanger. Because um, my brother cycles to work, so sometimes he gets wet and he's got nowhere to hang his stuff up. Um, but we'll be using that to obviously to hang his coats and that up. But I also actually thought you can use that for your drying towels. Um, if you've got a bit of an area that's like away from dust, away from people coming in and out, you can actually get a coat hanger to put up your drying towels. Because we, we tend to do that actually. We tend to rather let our drying towels um, dry naturally rather than um, to keep tumble drying them because they eventually just go naff. So if you have something like that, a handrail or some coat hangers to dry your um, to dry your drying towels, that would be the best way. The best way to dry your drying towels is to do it naturally. Um, but if you do need to speed up the process, use tumble dry, but it will eventually um, wear out the fiber and it will stop um, the efficiency of the actual drying towel itself. So yeah, that's that. But that was just a little buy really for the unit because um, we had a couple of them anyway. So next couple of things I bought, and this was particularly for the man cave section, so if you've been keeping up to date with the man cave section, you should know exactly what's going on. Um, I'm on about putting sort of photos and that up of where it all started and stuff like that. Right, the memory card got full, so I was a bit sidetracked then, but I was saying that with the man cave, I wanted to put like um, all my certification up, all the sort of certificates I've got, and sort of like little throwbacks of how I started and um, where it is now. And I thought it would actually come really well with other people in their units because I think it's a really good way to show customers um, all the certificates that you've got um, and some photos from when you first started to where you are now because I think it gives people that um, bit of knowledge, a bit of insight into how you've grew your business and I think it would be a really good way to see and show your customers that. So this was just a, something that you don't really have to have but it's something I'm doing and would recommend it to others as well. So as you can see here, I've got these IKEA Fiskbo um, photo frames, I've got the 6x4s and the A4s as well, which I'm going to be hanging up in the man cave field, because basically what I want to get the effect, this is one of the certificates that I've got, so back in 2016, I got the Slims Detailing, or oh, I've done the Slims Detailing Master Detailing course, and I got a certificate for it, and it's never actually been on show to anyone, so what I've done is got an IKEA um, photo frame, framed it, and what I'm going to be doing is put them on the wall in the man cave, um, to show then customers all the certificates that I've got, because I've got a few others as well, um, anything that I've done through the years. And what I'm going to be doing with the 6x4s is just printing up some photos from when I first started, um, the van and all that sort of stuff. And then just giving people a bit of an insight. When they're sitting there waiting for their cars to be done or waiting to, for collection, they can see all the certifications, um, see all the photos and just see how far the business. I think that would be a really good way to show customers that. And it would be a really good way for, for me as well to look at these certificates, look at the photos um, and see how far it's come because sometimes you don't give yourself enough credit from how far you've come. Um, to where you are now. I've really, really started from the bottom and worked my way up um, and it'd be good to see how far it's come, have a little wall where you can see how far the business has come because I don't give myself enough credit sometimes and I'll hold my hand up to that. So I thought a couple of them, the Fisco, Fisco Bow um, photo frames just to sort of um, give you and your customers a bit of an insight um, to how far it's come and, um, and yeah I just think it'll be um, really good for that. So they're not too bad either, they're a couple of quid like I said, I can't remember on price because I haven't got the receipt with me. And I do need that receipt because I was planning on um, using this as a expense. Um, which obviously it is an expense because it's for business. But I could be 108 quid down. So, that's that. So we're on to the photo frames. I'll talk to you about that anyway. Um, we're nearly there. So if I'm boring you, we're nearly there. I haven't got far left to do now. Um, I've also came across... I don't know where these were in IKEA, they're just in one of the like, little baskets. It's like this clear um, bag, which I think it's for like, just to open up your duvets and stuff like that. It's actually quite a big bag, as you can see.
So for all them dodgy people, this is where you can store your cash. Nah, I'm never joking. I say I'm never joking, but I'm not. Um, basically what I thought with this, you could use it for your cloths. So you know when you go through... Uh, you know, by the way, obviously that's just an IKEA storage bag. I'll try and find online um, and put a little photo up on the screen of where you can order this from. And obviously I'll put all the links down below as well. So basically that's obviously a bag where you put your duvet or, or clothes or whatever you want to whatever you want to hide. Um, but I thought with that you can use it for your, all your old cloths. So sometimes you just end up with a load of old cloths that you don't really know where to put. Um, and sometimes old cloths are good for like engine bays and stuff like that. So you can keep all your old rags, all your old cloths. Or even like after the day's done and you want to go home and wash your cloths. Um, rather than keeping them in the front of your van, you can just stick them all in this bag. Um, obviously make sure you separate them all before. Buy a couple of them bags, stick it all in that bag. And then you can use that to take home. Um, chuck to your missus so she can wash them for you. Um, if you're lucky enough for that, obviously. But I'm going to have a few angry missus in my DMs now saying um, that their partners chuck them an Ikea bag full of cloths asking, demanding them to wash them every night. But I thought that would be good for that. Use that for your cloths, either have it as a bag in your van for all the old rags and cloths and whatever you want to use it for. Um, and then take them home to be washed or just or just keep your old rags in there for just so storage purposes and not left lying around the unit floor um, because people are not going to want to see that. So that's that for that. I've also got another idea for, for cloths, which I'll show you now whilst we're onto it. I'll try and pick it up and, and bring it over here, but I'm probably going to get blocked out of the way, so bear with me. This is my other idea for cloths. That ain't gonna work, is it? So, if you get the idea in that, let's take it down. There's no way of doing this. So I'm gonna have to dismantle it and then show you um, a video over this just so you can see what my thoughts are. But this is actually like a bin, I think. I think you obviously use it for your general waste recycling and your glass bottles or whatever like that. You can find this in the kitchen section of the of IKEA. I don't actually know what they're called. Sortera. Sortera. Um, now I know how people feel when they're trying to pronounce my name or anyone in my family's name. Because I see that and I do not have a clue. And now I feel people's pain when they get me on the register. On the register, that don't sound good actually. Um, <laughs> they get me or they get me come up in conversation, that's better, and they think, how the hell do we say that? Because that's what I feel trying to pronounce some of these IKEA um, items. But that's a sort sortira range. I'll put a link down below on that. But what I'm with this, like I said, I'll put a video over the top of this just so you can see. You can use this for all your cloths. So this is a really good way to keep in your unit to separate all your cloths. You can use like the top half for your interior, bottom half for your buffing, and then the middle, or maybe like the bottom half for your buffing cloths. Um, and then the middle for your interior and then the top can just be what you want to wash so what my thoughts are with this, keep this in the corner in the unit have one place for all your decent cloths for the outside have one place for your interior cloths and have one um, section um, to have for all of your stuff that you just want to take home to be washed and then you can just literally just take it off um, and either take that with you or dismantle all, all into one of these bags you can empty it out all into one of them bag, take them home to be washed. So there's a couple of different, couple of different ideas that, a couple of different ideas that I had sort of um, figuring out with these. But I thought that you could use them for your cloths. It, like I say, it is meant to be like a bin, um, but it'd be a really good like cloth bin as such um, to help you organise and you can figure out exactly where it is. Because my brother is alright with me. I know what cloths are for which thing. And I know that off the top of my head, my brother still like sometimes questions what cloths are for different things. So it'd be handy for me to say, well, that's all your buffing, that's all your interior, and that there is to chuck um, to be washed tonight in, in this evening or whatever. So that's that. I like I said, hopefully you would have seen a little clip above, um, a little clip, clip over this just so you can see exactly um, what my thoughts were and, and how to use them. I'll try and include that as well. Let's get rid of some of this. So this is firstly work. It's cold. Ugh. Grim. I know I've been talking for a while, but that tea is cold. It only feels like it's a money train. It only feels like I've been doing this five minutes. I think we're on to the last item. Um, so hopefully some of you are probably buzzing about that. And now this is, again, it's got no name, but this is basically, do you know what? I don't actually know what the original 
idea behind this is, um, whether it's like a shoe, shoe tray or something like that, just to keep your old shoes in. But we've got a couple of these at the unit, and basically what they are is um, just like a plastic tray, which we normally use, right? So when you're taking off wheels off a car and you've got it jacked up, and you're cleaning all the arches, or you're cleaning the calipers, um, and you've just freshly painted your unit floor, the last thing you want is all of that stuff on your unit floor. So what I use these for is like a drip tray. So imagine like that's underneath, you've had the car jacked up, you've got the brake um, disc, brake caliper there, and it's literally directly, this is literally directly under. So when you're cleaning all that, everything goes onto the tray rather than goes on the floor. And we did do a bit of caliper painting, so there was nothing worse when you just painted the unit floor, you do a bit of caliper painting and a little bit goes on the floor, then you've ruined your floor. So this is actually for that. Um, so if you're doing wheels off detail and you don't want to get all stuff all over your, over your garage floor or over your drive or something like that, you can even do, if you're a mechanic, you probably even use these to do oil changes and stuff like that, um, just so you don't get anything on your drive. Um, but what I was also thinking, as long as this is clean, you can take out mobile with you and use it for all your brushes. So sometimes, say if you're parked away from the van or you don't want to keep going back to the van to hang your brushes up, you can actually just use this to put all your brushes on. Because this is plastic and it'll be clean, rather than putting them on the floor where you're going to pick up a load of grit, you can use this as a little brush tray. So if it's on the floor, just chuck your brush down and you can pick it back up. And as long as it's clean, you'll have no dirt or no grime in your brushes. So I thought that would be really good for that. Um, hopefully you would, hopefully you get the gist for that. There's not much to it. Um, but all this stuff is really cheap. I think that's the last thing that I've got that I wanted to talk about. Let's just have a look. I did buy a couple of them Calyx um, storage boxes. So just sum, sum up them, we've got the tray um, for your, as your drip tray or for your brushes, we've got the bins for your cloths, we've got coat hanger for your coats or your drying towels, we've got the squeegee, extension lead, I don't know why I got that, we've got the rascodge, um, like, what's it called, trolley, and we've got the calyx boxes, we've got the photo frames for your certificates, um, we've got the bag, the pots, we've got storage boxes for your um, even products, brushes, applicator pads, anything like that. We've got we've got these. We've got these. I don't even know what they are. They were going to be sort of bucket brush, bucket brush holders, but it turns out I can't use them for that. And we've also got the hop up and step um, that you would probably normally use or find in your nan's bathroom, but we'll use that to hop on to help polish your cars. I think that's it. I think that's all I wanted to speak about. I hope you've sort of gave you a bit of an insight into. Um, hope it's gave you a bit of an insight into. You don't always have to get top quality, um, like um, you don't have to get top quality storage. You don't have to get top quality. Um, product stands or like shelving or anything like that but you don't always have to get the best stuff sometimes this cheap stuff does work and you can find um, uses for anything like I'm sure if you went to Poundland you could find some really good stuff that you could use um, in your detailing van setup not everything has to be the top brand um, not everything has to be the top storage cabinet the top bags the top do you know what I mean it, it doesn't always have to be it's nice to have some nice things um, but sometimes you can end up spending an absolute fortune on stuff that you don't need. I'm sure these, you can probably get some really decent lock ones that cost you a tenner, but you could buy that for like two quid. So sometimes, especially in the early days, you've got to sort of um, go for the cheaper stuff because there's that saying, if you save the pennies, the pounds will look after themselves. I think it's something along those lines. Um, and that's what you've got to do in this sense. Rather than spending top money on other items, go with the cheap stuff that will still work. I, I'm a firm believer, of, obviously, if you buy cheap, you buy twice. Um, and I hate buying cheap stuff and end up buying twice with it. But stuff like this, which you're not really going to notice, like frames, they'll be up on the wall for like a year, two years. They will, the um, boxes will last ages as long as you look after them. A bag's a bag, drip tray's a drip tray. The shelving's going to last ages. So it's not stuff that's going to break within a week. Um, it's just stuff that you sort of got for storage purposes and stuff like that. So hope this gives you a bit of an insight into that. You don't always have to buy the best stuff. Um, sometimes you can go with just your general stuff. And I hope it saves people a little bit of money. Um, I'll put all the links down below um, so you can see exactly what I've got and how much they were. Because like I said, I haven't got the receipt to hand. So I don't exactly know how much that all was. It's all about that.
hope you like this video. I know it's been a bit different. It's not something I'd usually do. Um, and if you want to see more stuff like this, then give me a shout. Let me know where you want me to shop next. Um, I'll give you my bank details so you can send me the money for it. No, I'm joking. I don't mind doing stuff like this. It's, it helps me out and it gives me a bit of an insight into um, what else I can get for the unit. Um, that's quite cheap and, and stuff like that. So, yeah, let me know what you think of this. Hope you've, hope you've enjoyed it. Yeah, sort of it's been boring. Some people might not enjoy stuff like this. But I've just seen it's a bit of a trend that people do IKEA challenges. Mainly it's birds that do it. Um, but I thought I'd do something a bit different in the detail industry and mix it up a little bit on my channel. We're going to be bringing loads of different video content. This week is my week off, so I don't know when this video is going out. But this week I've been filming loads of different styles of videos. We're doing a man cave um, or the unit um, video episodes. We're doing the van um, episodes. We're also I'm also going to be doing like behind the scenes. You would have seen a video on Instagram of the Ferrari that um, myself and Felix went and, and done. Well, that was captured cars and chasing cars. Um, so we're going to be doing more content with cars like that and I'm going to be doing behind the scenes filming of Felix filming them cars. So if you'd like to see all that, then please do stay tuned. Please do subscribe to the YouTube channel. Give this video a like. Um, check out the social medias, follow me on my personal, follow me on my business, Talisy underscore May or Talisy underscore Detailing um, and just keep posted, turn on your notifications to be the first to know exactly what's going on with the channel and all the social media updates. Got big movements in the next, 12, in the next um, four weeks so please do stay tuned and keep up to date with that. But for now, I'm out. I've got all this stuff to send back. No, I'm only joking. I've got all this stuff to set up more like and um, yeah, I'll see you guys and girls on the next one. Ciao.